Good afternoon, everyone. Snow bringing the harvest to a standstill in Saskatchewan. This is a repeat loss of crops from 2009. Look at the ice kicking the canola out in the fields. Anywhere in white delayed harvest as well as heavy snows on top of the crops. Keeping farmers out of the fields. Look at the updated snow cover for September. Campers stuck in the snow. And when we look at the top sun spotless days over the last 150 plus years, three of those are within the last decade. Oh, the grand solar minimum is upon us. Please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030. More news of the impending grand solar minimum as snow brings harvest to a standstill in Saskatchewan and Alberta leaving at least 20% of the entire production out of Canada stranded in the fields because of snow. Looking at the top sun spotless days over the last 160 years, funny how three of those are within the last decade. And this year also is anomalous with a lot of sun spotless days and it's going to be one of the shortest cycles on record. They forecast out as this nice curve out to like 2020. It's dropping straight off. If you follow that right down, it's going to be back to zero before 2018. That'll make this sunspot cycle less than nine years. One of the shortest on record. Back over to global news. Farmers up there talking about they never left a single field out for the winter, but this time it's happening. Also, farmers that have been farming for 45 years also seeing this as a strange never before layout of the crops. Canola crops not so much snowed in, but iced in. Anywhere in the white areas here, snowfall warnings. In addition to the 10 inches of snow, they had that freezing rain that just covered the crops. In some areas, they're just barely over half into the harvest. Going to be a lot of stranded crops out in those fields. Jumping over to SOT. Quality of the crops also in question as snowfall blankets the farms. Analysts talking how this is going to have a ripple effect for years into the future as well. The losses. Farmers may be able to get into the fields at the end of October. And what they do get out of the fields is going to require extra processing. They're going to need to dry that before they store it. Taking a look at real agriculture. Some red wheat up. Followed by a mixed bag of the rest of the commodities. Snow cover across the northern hemisphere jumping enormously since September. If you look at the departure from normal, where do you think the polar vortex is going to be this year? Centered right over Asia. And as I had talked about in my Pacific Storm video, warning backcountry campers and hikers to beware of this anomalous storm dumping snow over 5,500 feet. Here we go. This is a picture of what it was like for people who are camping out in the backcountry, and that's the reason I gave that warning. The heavy snows blanketing the area, downing trees and power lines. Sask Power working hard to get the lines back up. That was last week. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. These stories are definitely not making it into the U.S. news feed at all, although it's going to affect the prices of the food that you eat. Take a moment to jump over to Trade Genius, talk with Bob. He's trading on the grand solar minimum effects. He'll be happy to tell you about their trading strategy and what they see for the future in terms of crop losses. And as always, press that subscribe button and I'll keep more stories like this coming to you.